And then uh, I guess it's news to note that the former Ember Moon, now Athena, sure didn't like it in WWE. That's why she left. Breaking news here. So uh, that's that. Yeah, and then wasn't I guess, having fun anymore is what it, a lot yeah. of it boils down to. Join the club. <laughs> By the way, you know how much heat I got over the last 48 hours or so for having the absolute temerity to like Raw and not think that NXT 2.0 this week was terrible? People think I make up this this criticism, or they're like, "Oh, he's always listening to the chat," or he's be- bro. No, I mean it's everywhere. It's on the board. It's on Twitter. It's I was bombarded. People so angry that I would have the temerity to say that Raw was was like the best show in a long time, the best Raw, and I can't even remember how long. And there there were you know fun things here and there on NXT 2.0. Man, how dare it's like you, there's bro. there's levels to this, you know, with where we're at right now on the scale of raw, it was a fine raw. If you want to put this up against 1999 raw, then no, maybe it wasn't. But like, I mean, come on, there have been far more offensive, worse juxtaposed shows than we saw on Monday. And the same thing goes for Tuesday. Tuesday is just people's. What they think about NXT a lot of times is just a referendum on what they think about NXT overall because, again, there are it is a wacky, goofy show, but there are some nuggets that you can pull out of there and actually say we're positive. So, you know how it goes. Let's read some of her quotes here. My last four months was just one of those moments that I wasn't having fun anymore. It started with Shotzi being gone, Shotzi being drafted. Sitting at home, I got a phone call saying, hey, we don't want you to be upset. But Shotzi just got moved to SmackDown. She is debuting with Tegan. We don't want you to be upset, but we're doing something that's going to upset you. I was like, but we're the tag team. We have merch. We're doing fun things. We had just finally gotten into our groove. She said she spoke to Triple H shortly after. He expressed that he wasn't sure what was happening. Not the only time. She also mentioned members of the writing team told her they had no idea her and Shotzi had been a team in NXT. <laughs> I was like, hey, let me go on a losing streak. Let me get super frustrated. Let me turn. Then the first match happens, and I'm off TV for four weeks. Then Hunter disappeared. I was supposed to be getting a match with Sarai. Ended up getting a rash on my arm. Had an allergic reaction to something that they thought was something else, so they pulled me from the match. They go, you're turning in this match, but we want to make it subtle. So they kind of turned me, but they don't. Then there was a lot of confusion on what was supposed to happen. I was like, I don't know if I turned heel or not. Does this all sound familiar? Then I'm off TV for three weeks. I have the match with Mandy, and they're like, we're finally pulling the trigger on this. I get a note that week saying, hey, in two weeks, we need you to dye your hair fire-colored again. We need you to get the red contacts. We're going back to the old Ember Moon character. This is per Vince. You're going to turn heel, and you're going to turn heel as your old character. Shot a video. She says, I get the video ready. I'm ready to show everyone after TV, and they're like, hey, we have some bad news. Vince is pulling you off TV indefinitely. I sat there, and I was like, what did I do wrong? She then got emotional talking about her frustration. When you care about something, you care about this business is so much more, not just for yourself, but for everybody involved. It hurts so much more. On some level, I knew I was leaving. I'd already been gone. Brought an extra bag, kept in the locker room so I could pack all my stuff and leave. I'd been there for like a month. She mentioned also she had a meeting. They called a meeting. Remember that women's evolution? They called a meeting about talent dressing sexier, asking them to look more like Mandy Rose. (laughs) <laughs> and if you read all the quotes on that one, mm-hmm. Yeah, see, there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, people don't talk about because it's, it's 2022. But, uh, you know, don't think this ain't the old WWE, everybody, in a lot of ways. So anyway, uh, that's uh, that's her. And, you know, I got an email yesterday. Some bloke was, I mean, I, I, he was so angry at me. Because I couldn't remember. And now I can remember her name, so I guess he helped. He was so angry, I could not remember Sophia Cromwell's name. And he was like, well, they mention it later in the show. I'm like, bro, I don't care if they mention it later in the show. She's been on TV multiple times. She's never identified. Like, this ain't on me, dude. And there's this big, long email about how I'm the bad guy. And I'm just sitting there thinking, is this one of the writers? Because it sounded like one of the writers wrote me an email because he was angry. And I'm just saying, maybe you should do a better job, brother. If it's a fan, I apologize for thinking you're an incompetent writer for NXT. But, bro, the problem isn't me, dude. It ain't me. I mean, 
I can't help but notice that I sit here and I rant about stupid things on these shows, and everyone gets mad at me about it. And then this talent leaves and say the exact same damn thing I was saying. Doesn't know if she's a baby face or a heel. Bro, I ask that question all the time. Is Legato Del Fe, are they baby faces or heels? What about, uh, you know, the mobster bloke? Is he a baby face or a heel? Because he sure damn worked as a baby face, valiantly fighting his way to the ring at the end of his match. Then Legato takes out his leg. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? It's not my problem here. I'm not the problem. So get off my back, you dorks. <laughs> I have nothing to add to that. I agree 100%. You're exactly right. And, you know, they're used to Chiron with a lot of things, you know. The oh, wait, I got faceless. the thing here. Hold on. Go Ember ahead. Moon Athena says she was extremely unhappy during her final days in NXT, where Vince wanted her to dress in, quote, fishnet booty butt cheek shorts, and they had a two-hour meeting telling girls to learn to be sexy and alter their gear to make it more revealing, similar to Mandy Rose. Get the hell out of here. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Listen, I got to make something very clear, then we'll get into dynamite here, okay? I don't know if Vince McMahon used the term booty butt cheek shorts, okay? I said, quote, that was the quote from the person that wrote the email. But I will read the exact quote from Ember Moon Athena in her interview here. She says, I remember going to my, this is her direct quote. I remember going to my makeup artist and going, quote, I'm so unhappy, I'm so unhappy. And we'd have to sit through stupid meetings about how we would have to dress sexy. And I remember looking at someone else like, I cater to children. I am not about to wear a fishnet booty butt cheek shorts because we had a two-hour meeting about how to dress like Mandy Rose. That's not fair. Not everyone is going to be Mandy. Mandy is absolutely phenomenal. She's an amazing person, but not everyone is Mandy Rose. I started seeing this downslope as soon as Hunter was gone. And like for the first little bit, we didn't know why he was gone. We just knew he wasn't there. I got so angry. I remember sitting there and I was like, I did nothing wrong. I didn't piss off Vince. So uh, this uh, booty butt cheek, as she termed the shorts, uh, this dressing sexy, all of this, this was uh, NXT 2.0. Yeah. This was after your, Vince was gone. This your was arguments exactly, are non-starters. Exactly what I said when they started NXT 2.0, which is it's Vince's show now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Kevin Dunn. And bro... A uh, 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 zebra doesn't change its stripes. Whatever that stupid saying is, you guys think things have changed with a set. You guys think a seventy-six-year-old man has changed? Well, think again. And there's a lot more than that, bro. Well, look, I know we got to get to to dynamite, so yes. so it doesn't matter. But it's like if if that's what you want to pull out of this and take that, and well, she didn't, you know, he didn't really say. Who cares? It's not the point. She said it. You know, she put it in her terms as far as what they want her to wear. That's not the issue. That's not the issue at all. And if that's what you want to take and try to play with, you look like an idiot doing it. Oh well, she didn't say. It doesn't matter how it was said. You know what the result is because if you watch the show, you see what it is and you see what they turned it into. Everybody's horny. There's a zillion colors. Nobody can wrestle for the most part. And they wanted to go with really young women in really revealing outfits, which is not anything new when it comes to Vince and Kevin Dunn and their mentality. So cut the crap with this and people trying to get offended about what she said in the interview or trying to take one quote out of it because he didn't read the interview, probably because he can't read. No offense to anyone named Bert. But when no. you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you got to go to NXT and your name is Bert, okay? You can either spell it B-E-R-T or B U R T. You're gonna look at both of those. You're gonna go E for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig. Craig knows. Yeah. Because like it's like I drank so much I burnt. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what? First it was narcissus. Okay. But then later it changed to the narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. But that wasn't narcissist. That was the narcissist. The narcissist. No. The narcissist. Who cares? <laughs> Bert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bert Narcissist. <laughs> like, Bert. Bert. I'm sorry. I need to recover from Bert Narcissist. <laughs> He's such a narcissist. He kept the name Bert. Yeah. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. 
Join us today.